and then I'll let you guys do these two on your own. So you guys will want to write these down as examples or practice problems. If you guys want to do this, um, do this one or this one at least be an example I'll go through and with you on. So in this one, uh, we have f of x equals x minus 3 divided by 3 minus 7 times x. Again, our implied domain is it's all real numbers, right? Always all real numbers. Except our restrictions, we understand that whenever we have a variable in the denominator, whenever x is in the denominator, we know that x cannot equal 0. However, that's just an expression of x in the denominator. When we have an expression like this, what we're looking for, what's not going to be a part of the domain, is whatever makes this denominator equal to 0. So what values for x make my denominator equal to 0? Well, the easiest way to do that is to set your denominator to 0. So you do 3 minus 7x equals 0. Then you solve. So x equals 3 over 7. So what do we know about 3 over 7 again? When x equals 3 over 7, what happens to my denominator? What is, what is the value of my denominator now? 0. So guess what? My domain is all real numbers except or such that x, though, or I'm sorry, let's write it like this. You could write all real numbers All real numbers except x cannot equal 3 over 7. You can write it as x such that x cannot equal 3 over 7. But there's going to be one rule that we're going to focus on. I'm not really going to worry about these different types of notations. This is all values of x such that x cannot equal 3 sevenths. But I want to worry about uh, interval notation. So if you're going to graph this, now again, our implied domain is negative infinity to infinity, right? Except what is the only value x cannot be in this domain? 3 over 7. So 3 over 7 is between 0 and 1. Would everybody agree? So here's 0, here's 1, right? So let's just say here's 3 over 7. Now, I don't know what type of discontinuity it's going to be. That's what we call when it's not equal to it. It could be a whole, or it could be an asymptote. We really don't know. We're going to learn that later. For right now, it doesn't really matter. But we don't really know. We just know the graph does not, there's a not an x value for 3 over 7. So the graph looks something you know, like this, except there's a whole or an asymptote there, right? So it, what the main important thing, we're going to use interval notation to write our domain. I don't, want writing, I don't want to see domain like this. I don't want you to write all real numbers, x cannot equal. I want us to use interval notation. So how far to the left is this graph going to go, Trevor? How far left is this graph going? Negative infinity, right? OK, and then how far does it go till it kind of stops and comes up, Keith? How far does it go to? Three sevenths. So you could say negative infinity to 3 sevenths. All right. Now, does it, can you equal negative infinity? Can you have negative infinity amount of anything? No. It, we know it can't equal 3 negative, we know it can't equal 3 sevenths because it would be 0. So that's a parenthesis. And then behind your name, sorry. Yeah. L Laurel? Where does it start back again? Um, so once we go over here, what, what value does it start back over again? Well, right here. Where does it start again? Three sevenths again. And then how far does it go? Pause infinity. So we'd write this in interval notation like this. Negative infinity, three sevenths, union, three sevenths, positive infinity. That's the way I'd like you guys to write the domain. Okay? So, real quickly, 